am Dana Malcolm. This is your midday edition of Top Stories for Thursday, February 29th, 2024. Up next, the news that matters most. This is an important advisory from Digicel Turks and Caicos. All Digicel subscribers whose SIM cards were issued prior to July 2021, kindly visit your nearest Digicel store and have your SIM card swapped at no cost to you. There's also dedicated SIM swap teams that will be at different locations throughout the various islands on specific days. Please look out for the communication via SMS text message. This is a telecoms commission regulatory mandate and enhances network reliability and speed. Please swap your SIM cards as soon as possible to avoid mobile service interruption. Some residents say it was the right thing to do. Others are expressing confusion and disappointment today following a late evening address from E.J. Saunders on Wednesday. A dedication to get Washington Mizik TCI Premier to a third term in office is what's coming from the All-Island member in a surprising twist after being fired from his deputy premier post for challenging Mizik for leadership days earlier. Despite having not spoken to the premier, Saunders says there's no drama to be found in the PNP. The Premier and I have no disagreements and we share no animosity towards each other. Saunders says the leadership challenge was not born of personal ambition. I was an instrument for 40% of the delegates on Saturday. I made a bold decision while knowing the potential risk to my political career to allow them to express their views in this regard, though, some residents say they were let down that he denied his own desire for the position. Saunders also firmly put rumors of a no-confidence vote to rest, maintaining that he met with the governor days earlier because he knew he might be sacked after the challenge. The All-Island member ended with a determination to serve the people from the backbench and to extend the 14-to-1 electoral victory of 2021. <laughs> The country that recorded the most dramatic increase over 2019 tourism arrivals in 2023 is the Turks and Caicos Islands. That is according to recent data shared by the UN World Tourism Organization via LinkedIn. Not only is the TCI listed as the country in the Americas with the largest percentage change over 2019, it topped all other countries with a 127% increase. The UNWTO says just after the TCI was Qatar with a 90% increase in Saudi Arabia after that, with a 56% increase. This is a tremendous comeback story for the TCI, as during the travel shutdown precipitated by the COVID-19 pandemic, the Turks and Caicos Islands also topped the global list as the country most impacted by the pause to travel and tourism. <laughs> The Conference of Heads of Government of CARICOM wrapped up yesterday, February 28th, and during the event, leaders from across the globe were present. On Tuesday, February 27th, Dr. Armstrong Alexis, Deputy Secretary General of CARICOM, welcomed His Excellency Omar Shehadeh, Special Envoy of the United Arab Emirates, or the UAE, to the Secretariat. The visit facilitated an exchange during the meeting where they discussed the growing CARICOM-UAE relations, marked by people-to-people -people contact political dialogue, and economic relations. President Lula da Silva of Brazil and reps from the UK also made up the guest list. Arlington Musgrove, Minister of Immigration, represented the Turks and Caicos. Musgrove was well poised to contribute to the discussions, several of which he told Magnetic Media focused on the deteriorating humanitarian situation in Haiti. Magnetic Media is your news leader. There is simply nowhere else in the Turks and Caicos Islands that you can find such a wholesome variety of your favorite fresh foods. There is simply nowhere else in the Turks and Caicos Islands that you can find such outstanding service. And there is simply nowhere else in the TCI to answer your every food craving in a chic, comfortable, centrally located store. That's a place you can trust. Number one is Graceway IGA. Fresh service trust for over 20 years. As the 2024 business licensing season begins this Friday, March 1st, the Inland Revenue Department is advising that there have been changes to the process. Now, applicants can use an e-services portal to renew licenses. Additionally, registered companies must show certified copies of their register of members and demonstrate good standing with the FSC. Along with that, only hotels and other short-term rental providers are required to provide accommodation licensing, but they must seek inspection ahead of the renewal deadline. That's April 30th. Applications will not be accepted until all relevant information is received. The Power of Attraction Magnetic Media 
Attention all entrepreneurs and business enthusiasts in the Turks and Caicos Islands. You're cordially invited to the MSME Roadshow 2024, hosted by Invest TCI and Partners. Join in at various locations across the islands to discover the power of collaboration in propelling business forward. Mark your calendars for these dates. Monday, February 26, 2024, in South Caicos at the Community Center at 5 p.m. Thursday, February 29th, 2024, in Salt Key at the Salt Shed at 10 a.m. And later that evening, in Grand Turk at the Life Training Center at 5 p.m. Then on Monday, March 4th, 2024, it's Middle Caicos at the Community Center at 5.30 p.m. Don't miss Tuesday, March 5th, 2024, at Horse Stable Beach in North Caicos at 5 p.m. And finally, on Thursday, March 14th, 2024, at the Gustava Sports Complex in Providenciales at 5 p.m., have your burning questions answered by expert partners and browse a variety of small business displays. For more information, contact Marzina Hinson at 338-4773 or email mhinson at investturksandcacas.tc. Invest in your future and let's propel business together at the MSME Roadshow 2024. See you there. Company registration is now open for the Turks and Caicos Islands National Internship and Apprenticeship Program. Launched in 2022, it matches college students and graduates with local companies for temporary jobs, giving students experience and helping plug the human resource gap locally. You can register your business today by visiting the link shared on the government's social media. That is it for this edition of the Midday News. I am Dana Malcolm. Thank you for joining us.